Cool, got a multi-tool, gas grenade, 100 credits, and a pocket secretary. It's on the pocket secretary. Show me the pocket secretary. Dear Mr. Miller, we regret to inform you that the account is closed. You have 24 hours to remove the contents of the safe. Anything left over there after this date will be inaccessible after that time. Your existing code of 1363 is still valid. Man, we gotta go to the bank again. Got some goodies in there. Human presence Whoa. Engaging smart home system. Smart system engaged. Why is this place such a mess? Scanning bio data. Unauthorized presence confirmed. Intruder protocols engaged. What does that mean? You are not the authorized homeowner. Your presence in this home is not certified. Please vacate the premises. You have chosen not to Please confirm your process initiated and wait for local authorities to arrive. Access granted. Please hold still as I scan you. Thank you. Welcome to your smart home system. Security is of utmost importance. Open the wall Your panels. Are laid bare. And I guess lock the doors. I agree. You. Let's keep the world away. Are these guys impenetrable? Or, I mean, invulnerable to the stun gun? Welcome to your smart home system. I agree. Let's keep the world away. <laughs> Look at this man. Oh, good stuff. is going on here? What is up with this place? I hope last night isn't getting you down seriously. The kid was augmented. We tried to warn her. It's her own fault or not for not listening. So let's not move on. So let's move on to focus. Someone said something about a neon raid behind Ludwig Courtyard. Apparently you need a key card to get in. How do I get one? Why are these parties such a secret? Why are you holding out on me? So I guess they killed someone by accident? They're trying to clean up or something? Crafting parts. This is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Pikin. There she is. It's highly recommended. Says I heard bad things about Neon. I don't think it's a harm it's as harmless as people say it is. Please, Ilanka. Just because you get invited somewhere doesn't mean you have to go. Shouldn't have gone. Came back with some crazy dudes. I think we need to solve that murder. Oh, 
But you look scared. There must be a way out of here. Welcome to Magia. I got a Voltar. Tell me the future, man. Some version of you is perfect. You are not her. What? Ah, uh, so insightful that it went right over my head. City run by criminals and scum. How do I get up there? Hey, Adam. I'm still waiting in the small courtyard on Hovani Street. Where are you? Sorry, I got caught up in something. I'm on my way. Well, hurry up. Chill out. There is nothing for you there. Thirty-seven credits. Some weird stuff. Be nothing here at all. Hey there, you looking for a new stereo system? I don't really get much time to listen to music. How about movies? You like movies? Or maybe you got other interests? What do you mean by other interests? Well, I figure a man like you, he might need a little energy boost from time to time. You're not talking about protein bars, are you? Biocells, my friend. In perfect working order and completely under the radar. Nah. What kind of movies are we talking about? Oh, never mind. I was just making a stupid joke. What you really mean is you don't want to tell me, since it's obvious I didn't come here for that. Uh... Calm down. I'm not a cop. I think I'll be on my way. You're free to come back if you change your mind. The most significant of them, in terms of human cases and death toll, is an antibiotic resistance. This place is weird, man. It has been spreading quickly through the Indian subcontinent. Now, what is up with that uh, point of interest? in a rich apartment above the rabbit. Oh, so they're in an apartment above this building. Hmm. Guess I gotta parkour my way up there. Painkillers, right on. More painkillers. Dude, painkillers galore. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Okay. 
crap. Access denied. Oh well. Let's go search the place while it's resetting. Got a multi-tool. Cool. Well, I think this is pretty much it. I mean, there's supposed to be Augs or something in here? I guess it was just really to get a bunch of uh, painkillers. Yeah, nothing really good on the computer. They're just talking about uh, headaches caused by his augs or something. All right, guys, how are we getting in this rave? All right, I think what I need to do, I think I need to go back to that lady's apartment. Uh, remember, like, the lady who got murdered or whatever? She went to the rave and she brought some, like, you know, psycho dudes back with her and they took her out. They trashed her place. Uh, Another right. one. Let's see, um... I think it's back here. The, I think it's back here at the 33 Halavni apartments. So we'll turn here. around. We'll run this way. This kind of <laughs> yes, yeah. Maybe there's more clues I missed there. I mean, that's what I'm thinking anyway. This is it, 33N. All right, cool. I don't remember what one was her room. I think it was on the other side. Thinking so. Gotta figure out who's dealing these drugs, man. I ain't down with no drugs. Oh wait, no, no, no. Well, so this was uh, Miller's apartment, right? And we oh, and we jumped through that vent. What's that? Laser targeting system. Ooh. What the heck is that, man? Uh, I guess we'll let's clear out our inventory. We got so much shit in here. Let's just drink the booze. Let's get crunk and rock out, bruh. Oh, that's neuropazine. What am I doing? I don't want these mind templates, but... Yeah, we'll just discard them. I don't give a crap. Don't even give a hoot. I can sell some of this other stuff. There we go. Now we got a bit more space. What's this? Nanoblade ammo? What's this? Silencer? What's this? Holocyte? Can we attach a silencer to anything? We cannot. Alright, whatever. Oh man, I am tripping balls. Well, not technically tripping balls, just, just pretty wasted. Pretty sure you fancy kids these days have a new word for that. <laughs> Don't know what it is. Oh man, that was probably a bad move on my part. It is really hard to see right now. Oh man, this is funky. This is some funky monkey stuff, man. Alright, let's see. Uh, Hello oh my again. God. Alright, there we go. Let's talk to the house AI and see if we can figure anything out. Wait, the... I agree. Let's keep the world away. Alright, so... Wait, what was that? Environment? Oh, interesting. Okay, um... What if we hire a cleaning service? What does that do? I'm sure they'll be happy to comply. Interesting. So, what happens if someone shows up here? Is it going to be someone maybe who like 
trash their place and kill the, that guy. That cop is still stuck like this. That's priceless. That's great. <laughs> so the computer... Computer lady said she'll let them in when they come. Should we just chill? Just hang out until they come? I don't... I don't really know. Don't really know. Don't really know what's going on. Cause damn, like this place got messed up. It's like period stains all over the place, coffee stains all over the place, guitar in the bear's mouth. Stuff went down, guys. Stuff went down. And I ain't down with what went down. All right, guys. So I was waiting around for that cleaning service to show up for quite a while. Um, I think it might just be something that, I don't know, just takes a really long time. So we're going to go do some other stuff. We're going to go check out one of these points of interest that uh, we learned about from paying that information broker dude uh, that was in the back alley. So he gave us a PDA and it had some information about, like, uh, some cop in the town that's Here up to go. something suspicious or something weird. So uh, we're going to go figure out what's going down. So it looks like it's in the apartment up there. All right, guys, so I think we need to hop up on this police van, help hop up there, hop over there, and then hop over there. Let's, uh, let's check it out. I think I need remote hacking to make these elevator thingies work. Crap. Oh. Can we get up from back here? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, that'll be sweet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is a long jump. Oh, oh yes. The parkour skills, guys. The parkour skills. All right, we've done it. Now, what's up in this person's person's crib? Get that crap off. Got a dead body. We got a dead body. He's got neuropazine. He's got 72 buckaroos. He's got a sellable processor. Was he making a bomb? Or was he just making a gaming computer? Kind of hard to tell. Gonna have to find his computer and see what's up. Newspaper. Nothing cool. Hacking software. Always good times. Always good times. Hydraulic pump, crafting parts, more software. Uh, got some pizza boxes, potato chips. <laughs> uh, got some beer. Breaker. Uh, let's flip that bad boy. Cool, turn on the computer. That's kind of weird. Oop, didn't want to do that. More crafting parts. Uh, we'll read the computer in a sec. Just want to check the rest of this. Boom, bio cell. It's like gold. All right. Let's give her a read. All right, guys. So I'm reading his email, and it looks like he's uh, a dirty cop working with the Diwali family to perhaps smuggle some people in and out of the uh, city. Uh, for Perhaps for, like, sex slavery or just slavery in general or, like, to use as spare parts for Augs. And it looks like... Um, he, uh, they had a meetup scheduled for the sewers beneath the poor district. It's supposed to show up after 8 p.m. after dark. Do not go earlier or later than that. It's very important. The gate will be open with 6122. I'll meet you there. Cool. So I guess we'll go check that out and see what's up. Did that update on our objective screen? It didn't. So, uh... I guess we can just go try to figure that out for ourselves. Anyway, um, let's actually head back to that apartment and see if uh, the cleaner showed up. All right, guys, uh, still no cleaners at the uh, dead chick's apartment. I've just been kind of like running around the city, uh, breaking into some places, uh, committing some crimes, beating up some police, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, so I took the subway just now to uh, Ruzika Station. Honestly, I'm trying to get back to my apartment, but I don't remember how. Uh, I feel kind of dumb right now. <laughs> anyway, I figured we'd just kind of 
check stuff out and see if we can see anything cool. I have a permit. It's not like they did not see me working here all day. What's this chick up to? Good evening, sir. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. The police are moving me on. I get that a lot, too. You work for the Santo Group? Yes, I am a vocational representative. Felice Olman. Sir, I suppose you have heard about Rabia? Any interest in starting a new life there? Living in a city where the choices you made to become augmented are respected? What would you say? I'd say that I'd just come out of the Udalek complex. Wasn't that Santo's last better future for the augmented? That was supposed to be a temporary housing solution for transient workers. But after the incident, the Czech government had other ideas. And Santo washed its hands of the place. No, our hands were tied. Because of how we did business, contracting to governments, Santo does things differently now. Thanks to Mr. Brown. Who's Brown? I'm surprised to see a corporate CEO openly supporting Augs like Nathaniel Brown has. Mr. Brown is a, how do you say, disruptive innovator. We can't just rebuild after what happened. That has not worked. We have to start over. Not with that attitude. I'm sure it helps if your company's the only option for thousands of augmented construction workers. The world has lost sight of augmented potential, but to construct, staff, and settle a zero footprint, fully self-sufficient arcology? It's not only Mr. Brown's solution for the augmented, it's his solution for the future of cities. So exactly how is Rabia different? We used to build cities for governments and middlemen. Now we build them for the people. Rabia is a sovereign state, 3D printed on site for its citizens. Not just a city for the augmented, an augmented city. The sales pitch was a little different before the incident. More talk about luxury, less about augmentation. That was before Mr. Brown bought back the contract from the government of Oman. The world changed, and we changed with it. Now we own the city, the land, and the message it sends to the world. Everything. Eh. If Brown has it all figured out, maybe I'll see you again in this future of yours. There is no future for us out here. I know that much. Damn, girl. Gotta be so pessimistic. Alright, so are the cops still hanging out here? Sure are. Stuff's all locked again. Alright, well, you know what? I don't really think I'm interested in doing anything here. So, yeah, let's just go try to find our way back to my apartment. See, so I. Man, how the hell? Am I supposed to get back to my apartment? Because my apartment's like... Where is it? Isn't it like down here or something? I don't know. I feel retarded right now, guys. Maybe I gotta sneak past these fools. I'm totally confused. Like, I'm not even gonna play it off. I am confused. Oh, wait, can I just go up here? Oh, I can't just go up here. Look, madam. Just kidding. I knew what I was doing the whole time. Totally knew what I was doing the whole time. <laughs> Honestly, it is a little confusing. It's not really explained. But yeah. Anyway. Is <laughs> there anything? Did you see what they did to her? Why are we drawn to such? Shouldn't What's we wrong? be arresting? If he's no who, by now? Ah, John is not going anywhere. We can't let orders are orders. Ah, John is not going anywhere. Excuse me, I have to tell. I recognize you. 
or neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed, just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Where's her legs? Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing would be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You're, you're not a cop, are you? Sure aren't. Well, kind of. I used to be... I was a cop, once. Old habits die hard. In America? Yeah, Detroit. Hell yeah. It was yeah. a long time ago. Detroit! I bet you have a lot of experience. All You're of used it. to this sort of thing. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? God, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He, he thinks I saw something. Did you Did see you? something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? Probably. You know what? Let's reassure. Man, I don't want to get her killed, man. Don't want to get her killed. I don't want to frighten her. Let's let's uh let's sympathize. Let's be an emotional man, you know, in tune with our females, you know. It's natural to be scared. Then you understand. Hell yeah. I don't want to get involved if I don't have to. Sure, I understand. You don't know anyone here. But there's a chance this could happen again. The more you're willing to cooperate with the police, the better the odds of catching whoever's responsible. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But what? maybe you could help. I want it. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. Don't worry, girl. I got this. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You plan yeah, to baby. run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. Talk to you about what happened. It's kind of creepy us calling you neighbor. Can't believe we got like, howdy, neighbor. Here. The only way I'm continuing this conversation is over a beer. Hey, what's on the ground? Crafting. All right, let's see what's up, detective. So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. Yeah, she's got she one say? for me. Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. What? Yeah, that's bullcrap. There's no reason this should be complicated. If someone gets killed, you need to find the killer. Whether the victim was an og or not has nothing to do with it. Uh, no favorites before the law, eh? Okay. But what if the law itself is prejudiced? Eh? 
as an officer of the law, wouldn't it be my duty to uphold that prejudice? No, it wouldn't. It's your job to uphold the ideal, to know the difference between right and wrong, and to act accordingly. Uh, you're obviously not a cop, are you? I used to be, for 12 years. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <laughs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Johnny Gunn. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Uh, sure you did. <laughs> Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. I'm on it, detective. Careful of the evidence. Interpol. Who do they think they are?